What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand of crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap, as well as Dudex. Specifically in today's video, I want to continue on discussing uh, where we've left off within Bitcoin and the other cryptos. As you guys know, Bitcoin and some of the other cryptocurrencies like um, Ethereum and XRP have merely just been trading sideways the past couple of days. And ultimately, I do believe this is going to lead to the next big move uh, big volume injection into the market, which could send these cryptos to some very, very, very important levels of price as well as support. Um, also, uh, looking at XRP, you can see we're now having another day of just mere sideways movement. No volume, sideways trading. Ultimately, this will end and it will end very aggressively. So definitely make sure to stick around. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, give a giant thumbs up. This helps out the YouTube algorithm. Remember to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. This way, um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can head over there and DM me. Um, otherwise, let's jump into today's video. So guys, before we dive into the technical analysis, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody supporting me on the channel and subscribing. We're now 15.8k subscribers on our way to 20,000, which is going to be probably another giveaway. If not, maybe we'll do one before then. But I will be doing a giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. You guys have been absolutely crushing it. Huge shout out to all of you guys supporting me. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to everybody supporting me on Patreon. We're now at almost 115 patrons on our way to a goal of 150. Huge shout out to everybody who is on there as well. It's a huge growing community. Um, but otherwise, let's jump right into today's episode. So yesterday, I put out a video basically saying, get ready. Uh, XRP, Ripple, and Bitcoin are about to do something that hasn't been done in three months. That was in reference to the fact that we've been in a bull market for three months now. Uh, this is a three month bull market that has been on the coin, uh, this whole uptrend right here. And prior to that, we had a massive dump in price. We dropped extremely low very, very, very quickly. So ultimately, after this three months, there's a very good chance the same pattern is going to repeat itself. And that's what I'm here to focus on in today's video. Now, I do want to also discuss something about uh, the current coin market cap. I'm noticing a small growth in popularity in relevance to a cryptocurrency called cardano which is right here cardano has about 2.2 uh, i believe that's billion uh this is mil uh, millions right here so yeah 2.2 billion in market cap trading at eight cents uh it has 262 million um in volume today which isn't really that much compared to like litecoin which is way more 2.1 billion in volume um but ultimately, Cardano has quite a bit of coins, very similar to something like, I'd say, XRP. Cardano has 25 billion coins in circulation, while uh, XRP has 44 billion. Um, so there is a big difference in the way the, uh, the, the ticker trades, as you can clearly see. Uh, XRP being you know, 20 cents is due to the massive amount of coins in circulation, Cardano being 8 cents due to the massive amounts of coins in circulation. But I want to know if you guys have an interest in Cardano. If you guys do have an interest in Cardano, please feel free to comment down below. Also comment down below if you're interested in learning about the S&P 500 because some Incredible stuff has been happening right now, uh, and my portfolio and everything is skyrocketing in price. I'm glad I invested what I did, um, but there's definitely a good video, 10-minute video that we could do you, uh, make to discuss everything that's going on. Otherwise, to jump back into the episode, you guys can see, for the most part, the current coin market cap is down um, about 1%, I'd say, on average right now. Merely just trading. After the seven-day movement, we're merely just trading sideways. This not this isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, ultimately, this is going to end in um, some big volume burst in price. Sorry, something in my eye. Um, but ultimately, what we do have to pay attention to is we do know that with this sideways movement, with the flatline uh, volume coming in and the flatline price graph, it does help us better you know, figure out when the breakout is going to continue. Almost every single time we've seen sideways movement, almost every single time we've had sideways trading, it tends to break in some massive bullish movement. I'm trying to find an example here. Uh, it's 
fairly hard to uh, because it happens so often. You can look like right here for, for reference. This was for the most part sideways movement on the daily, ultimately leading to a point where resistance was broken, where the pattern eventually ended and a bullish movement happened. Now, usually the sideways consolidation ends up bringing the price of the coin up to about 50 on the relative strength indicator, which is pretty much where the coin's trading right now, 42. Now, it's not at 50 exactly, but it is definitely close there. Uh, there we go. A little adjustment right there. We'll set it to 50. So we weren't trading um, at 50 exactly, but we were fairly close to it. Ultimately, just the sideways movement eventually led to uh, a peak in breakout. But what I really want to talk about is as you guys can clearly see, XRP is hanging on by a thread. This is not good. This is that sideways movement I'm talking about, where there's literally no movement on the day-to-day -day candles, where we're not seeing any prices really see any big swings, a lot of wicks forming. You can see the price of the coin is merely just 20 cents, and it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to move much higher than that. We're we're hitting our resistance. We're hitting our middle moving average. We're outside of what was a massive three-year bear uh, bear market. Uh, you can see right here, uh, as I extend the massive descending triangle, you can clearly see what it is that we're referring to, a massive downtrend. Yes, we are below our middle moving average. There is definitely a huge possibility we could burst bullish, shoot up to 30, you know, to at, at most, I'd say 66 cents on a conservative scale, but ultimately breaking bullish, very, very, very aggressive. And I do think it's going to happen very soon. Uh, if not, that if we don't break bullish, there is a very high chance we're also going to fall to the downside now obviously we all want to see xrp prosper and shoot up to the upside but if things do take a move to the downside there's a fairly high chance that it's going to be caused by the rest of the market doing so so what i wanted to point out specifically was if you look at bitcoin bitcoin is also seeing this near uh flatline pattern uh we're pretty much trading at 50 on the rsi the middle moving average is you know up below the current price, which is a good indicator for a correction down and uh, meeting up with that level down there. But ultimately, the price of the coin is starting to flatline out. We're not really seeing much movement above or below. I would say 96 to $9,700. Pretty much just trading sideways in that. And that is not good, my friends. Okay, we need to uh, break this pattern, break this formation. You can see on the weekly, we now have 12 hours left, I believe. Yes, 12 hours left. No more days. It is literally just 12 hours. You can clearly see the massive Elliott wave formation on the coin. We have a massive downtrend here. And what we're waiting for is to see how aggressively can we break through this resistance in the 12 hours? Are we going to close below the downtrend or are we going to close above here, obviously, and ultimately causing one of two things to happen? Closing below here within the 12 hours on the weekly candle is going to cause a most definitely bearish break to the downside and if we close above here there's a good chance we could you know be wrong and start to you know swing to the upside in a bullish direction causing a mere change in the market and a, a final breach in what appeared to be a three-year um, symmetrical triangle formation ultimately guys there are a few major steps you guys should be taking and i've been talking about it in some of the videos for the most part but if you are new to the channel i highly recommend checking out my patreon um, we're now at 114 i believe patrons what my patreon is used for is it is used as a method to watch my trades uh to learn and understand what i trade how i buy long how i sell short how i you know do limit trades market trades risk management stop losses, um, take profit levels, all of those factors, using them with leverage to figure out the best opportunity I use. So if you guys are interested in seeing those as the other hundred and something people are, definitely make sure to check it out. Not only that, but it is an ever-growing community with some hidden perks and hidden group chats that you guys should check out. Um, basically, you got to be in it to win it. And this is one way to gain great knowledge, especially experiencing it with people over a hundred people that have the same interest as you so there is a link in the description guys down below definitely make sure to check it out and while you're at it also check out this dudex website uh, this is what i've been using to short crypto as you can see on the weekly chart we're using bitcoin right now xrp is probably going to be added very soon but at the moment dudex is in a bearish movement the bitcoin us dollar on the dudex chart it's bearish we're hitting the resistance we've had our first prior wick back in august of 2019 
2019 since the website was you know developed and ultimately we retested it in february of 2020 broke bearish now we're retesting it again come june now and we are clearly breaking bearish like i said there's 12 hours left on the coin to really decide which way it's going to go and the second we see a reversal start to form and a correction drop below it i am selling short you wouldn't believe and i will be updating you guys live on my patreon because it is much quicker and easier to do than editing uploading a video when i work full time uh, so these videos do come out delayed slightly but if you're interested definitely make sure to check out both there is a sign up link for dudex down below too i believe up to 70 dollars in free bitcoin to sign up as well um but otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.